Welcome back everyone and thank you for joining me. My name is Kevin with Muddy River Tactical and today we have the FN 510. FN is the newest to come to the market with the new 10 millimeters and as a lot of you know 10 millimeter has been really catching on over the last few years with the new technology and ergonomics on these guns it's really making 10 millimeter way more pleasurable to shoot and the felt recoil is really coming down which is making more people want to start utilizing this caliber. So today we're going to go to the range and give you our first impressions of the FN 510. I don't know about you guys, but I've always been a big fan of FN. They've made some really great quality guns from their pistols to their rifles. They just really make battle proven pistols and all their guns, but pistols is what really intrigues me is obviously we're a holster manufacturer, so I spend more time shooting pistols than I do anything. Their FN 509 was one of my favorite full slash mid-size guns. You know, they got the compact and all the different ones. But the 509 Tactical, I really like and I still shoot to this day. So when I heard FN was coming out with a 10 millimeter, it really piqued my interest and I had to get my hands on one. These things are hard to find. The MSRP is around 1139, I believe, but you can see them when you can find them for around $1,000. But people are really picking these up as fast as they hit the shelves, at least in our area. So it took me a little while to get one. The weight on this pistol is 32 ounces, which may seem a little heavy. However, it's actually weighted out really good. When you're talking about a big bore caliber pistol, you don't want something light because it's definitely gonna take some weight to manage that recoil. And I think the weight just overall really balances good in your hand. So I don't think the weight's a hindrance at all. I actually think it's really good for this setup. The barrel is threaded and is 4.7 inches. The barrel's super good. The accuracy out of this thing has been amazing so far. It does come with a 15 round magazine and then also a 22 round magazine, the big stick magazine here. So that makes it super nice and really gives it the tactical feel there for home defense or something. It'd be awesome to make sure you had plenty of rounds. Obviously you'd probably never carry it with that one, but it's fun to have at the range or for home defense or whatever. The back straps are interchangeable, just like on the 509. Overall, this gun feels tremendously like a 509 in your hand. And like I said, I've always been a fan of that, so that did not disappoint at all. It does have co-witness tall night sights on it, which the sights are surprisingly really good. I'm gonna end up putting an optic on this gun, so that's not gonna matter as much, but for those guys that aren't gonna run an optic, the sights are great. To, from the get-go. The optic cut on it is a direct mount optic cut, which I, I'm really glad to see they did. So you no longer have to put a big plate where it raises it, you know, quarter inch, eighth inch, whatever the plate is. So it's a direct mount option, which is super cool. Also on this, just like the 509 Tactical, around the back sight, it's got these, the steel sight covers on it. So you can rack your gun off of anything on those and not affect or knock your sight out of alignment. Just like the 509, the slide serrations on it are very good. This gun manipulates very easy and have no issues with that. The All the controls, mag release, slide release, are ambidextrous from the get-go, so that's super nice. Anybody can pick up this gun and shoot it well. The takedown lever, just like the 509s, is just right there and flips down. And takes the slide right off. I'm not going to do it right now. Everybody's seen that done. I'm definitely a fan of that setup. It always works no matter how du dirty, dusty, muddy your gun gets. You can always get that down to take your gun apart to clean it. The biggest thing that I noticed after the first few shots of this gun were first of all the felt recoil being a 10 millimeter was super controllable. Obviously it has more kick than the 509 and 9 millimeter but it's really not that terribly much more to be honest with you the texture and everything on this gun it just really leads itself to be able to control the recoil super well 
The one thing I do wish, and I said this about the 509 and many other guns, I think it would be easier to control the recoil if they would texture up here. So when I grab the gun, the off thumb and everything rides there. If you had some texture right there, I think it would really help the recoil for me anyways and how I grip the gun. And I've noticed a lot of people have that same complaint, so I'm definitely not the only one there. The other thing I noticed is the trigger on this gun. Uh, the FN 509 trigger wasn't bad, but I didn't think it was great either. After about a thousand rounds, it felt a lot better. This gun straight out of the box, the trigger just feels way, way, way better. I don't know if they changed anything or not, but the trigger just feels really good. It's about a six pound break. The reset's short, and then just a good break. So all around, I like it. The take up is very little, and then just a solid wall and clean break. The, the trigger is amazing. So on my, in all transparency, in my regular 509, I ended up changing the trigger later down the road after a thousand rounds. And this one, I definitely won't be changing. It feels just as good as the Apex that I put in my 509. So that's nice to see, especially when you start spending that much money on a gun, you spend a thousand dollars on a gun, you really don't want to start dumping more money into it. So I'm glad to see that, at least on mine, it feels way better than my 509 did so at the range we shot 100 rounds through it we didn't do a full review we're going to do a full review down the road on it when we get some time i just wanted to give my first impressions of it and see how it shot and it definitely didn't disappoint as all fn's zero reliability issues in 100 rounds it shoots and feeds like it should just like you'd expect from the fn brand what was surprising to me in 10 millimeter accuracy is not and this is not even so much on the gun but shooter wise you know i'm not the greatest shooter in the world uh, but the trigger being how it is and the ergonomics and the felt recoil being low shots and follow-up shots i could keep on target quickly with no issues at all we shot this out to 75 yards no problem at all so this gun will definitely perform and quite frankly will outperform my shooting ability as far as holsters go we just finished cnc machining our engineered molds that we do here in the house so if they're not already on the market they will be on our website very soon as of the time you're watching this video they already should be on there so go check us out at muddyrivertactical.com to get your holsters for this 510 or the 545 or any of your other pistols you may have we truly appreciate you joining us today. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. We're always here to help. Until next time, keep practicing and always be prepared.